let's solve part C in this video. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the power of 10 x to the power of 10 divided by e to the power of x again first step let's try and substitute infinity into x so we would have infinity to the power of 10 again that's just a concept for a very large number to the power of 10 and e to the power of infinity so e to the power of a very large number and a large number to the power of 10 becomes even larger so it also tends towards infinity towards a very large number e to the power infinity well e is a positive number it's 2.14 i think 2.14 to a very large power it becomes even larger than that so it also approaches a very large number again in math mathematicians still didn't decide what's about infinity over infinity so we have this concept as undefined and so i put it in brackets just to that, that's how we note that it's undefined. Again, let's use what we did before, this L'Hopital rule. Let's try and differentiate the upper side and the lower side. The limit as x approaches infinity, and we have x to the power of 10 divided by e to the power of x. And what if we take the derivative of, of this thing? 1 and the second. Well, we would have the limit as x approaches infinity the derivative of x to the power of 10 well that's the power rule that's the power goes down times x to the power of 10 minus 1 which is 9 and e to the power of x derivative is just e to the power of x what if we substitute infinity over here well we would have 10 times infinity to the power of 9 over e to the power infinity infinity is a large number to the power of 9 is even larger multiplied by 10 is even larger than that so we approach a very large number which is infinity again the concept of a very large number e to the power of infinity we are approaching a very large number again so that's infinity once more undefined okay if that's still undefined let's let's try again see where we go so we're differentiating now the last step we we, we got over here that was our previous uh, attempt now let's do it again another attempt let's differentiate 10 times x to the power of 9 over e to the power of x so let's take the derivative of this thing now the upper side and the lower side and keep in mind guys by the way i used to make this mistake a lot i would i would take the derivative of the entire function and of course you get to a different result so make sure you take the derivative of numerator and then the denominator as well so limit as x approaches infinity 10 times x to the power of 9 derivative well 10 is a constant in our multiplication so we keep it as like that x to the power of 9 derivative using the power rule we take the 9 down times x to the power of 9 minus 8 with 9 minus 1 which is 8 e to the power of x derivative is just e to the power of x now let's substitute infinity into our x 10 times 9 is 90 90 times infinity to the power of 8 divided by e to the power infinity well infinity is a very large number to the power of 8 is even larger multiplied with 90 is larger so we approach a really large number noted by infinity e to a very large number approaches again a very large number same thing it's undefined we can see a trend here we can see that we still differentiate and we get undefined undefined and undefined well, let's keep doing that, assuming that we keep doing that with 10 times x to the power of 9 and then with 90 times x to the power of 8 and then so on, so on. We can see a trend that from the power of 10, we go to the power of 9, we go to the power of 8, we'll keep going to the power of 7, power of 6 for x, power of 5. And following this trend, what would be, where, where, would, we, where would we approach? we would approach to a point where we have the limit as x approaches negative uh, sorry as x approaches infinity we would have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 that's all these numbers from the derivative because these are the constants in our product note here 10 and then 10 times 9 so it go 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and once we get to 2 and 1, we would 
Once we get to 2, we would have x to the power of 1. Remember? Because x decrements in its power. So we would get to the power of 1 divided by e to the power of x. Because e to the power of x, we differentiate it all the way, every step. We just leave e to the power of x. Now, what is the value over here? Did, did you know all this work? Do you actually get somewhere? What we have now, 10 times 9 times all of that, that's just going to be a number. Uh, let's call it the constant, the, the number that we're getting. Times x to the power of 1 divided by e to the power of x. And if we multiply that number with infinity to the power of 1 over e to the power of infinity, well, again, we get to the same thing. Again, we get to the same thing, which is just a number multiplied by a very large number. It's going to be larger than that, so still infinity, and here again infinity. So it's still undefined. Okay, our, our last chance is to just do this thing one more time. Literally our last shot. So let's take our last shot to see if we actually get something. If we take the limit of x approaching infinity, and we differentiate again the upper side and the lower side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and x, divided by e to the power of x, differentiate numerator and denominator, so 1 and 2. What do we get now? Well, if we differentiate all this thing, we get all this multiplication, times x derivative, and x derivative is just 1. So a result we have 10 times 9 times 8 all the way until 1. And on the lower side we have e to the power of x, because that's the derivative of e to the power of x. Now our last chance is to substitute infinity into this. And what is 10 times 9 times 8 times all of this thing? Well, when we multiply something in a you know consecutive order, we usually call it as 10 factorial. That's just a shortcut for, for noting this whole product. But that's a number. If you put it in the calculator, it gives us a number. Divided by e to the power of infinity. Substitute infinity. Well, we have a number, a constant. Uh, you know, it says for a number. Uh, divided by a very large number. Remember, if we divide by a very large number, no matter what number we have here, if we divide by even something larger, because infinity stays for a really, really large number, as a result, we'll get 0, 0.00 something. We'll get a very small number. So a result, we are approaching zero. And that's it. We actually did all these steps. We use this L'Hopital all the way through to get to a final answer. And that's it. We are done.